In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to participate in chat on Canvas. Now, there are two options for this. One of them is to participate in chat for the whole class. The other is to participate in a group chat specifically for your group. So we'll go through each one really quickly. To participate in a whole class chat, for example, if your instructor has uh, virtual office hours or um, says we'll have a review session and everybody can come online and ask questions, this is where you would go. So we click on chat here and it takes just a minute for all of the tools to load and for the computer to run a check to make sure you've got the software you need. Now you can participate in the chat in a number of different ways. One of them is to simply type in like a traditional text chat. So we come to the bottom of the screen and type in our message, hit enter, and you'll see that that appears here. But there are a couple of other tools that you can use here as well that are really quite nice. If we look up to the right, you'll notice that there's a speaker icon and a camera icon. So we can utilize both audio and video chat here in Canvas. These tools up in the top right corner will help you to configure your webcam and your microphone. Up here in the top left corner we have the Start Broadcasting button and that's where we would go to actually utilize that multimedia chat. So I'll go ahead and click that so you can see what it looks like. And notice that it's detecting the equipment that I have available to me. Hi. So you can either use the camera that you have installed or hooked into your computer, or you can use the microphone only. It's your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and click the video broadcast here, and then continue. All right, it's asking which microphone I want to use. I've got a headset on today, so I'll click the Logitech here. But my computer also has a built-in microphone, so that's also an option. You can adjust the volume settings here if you want to be a little louder. Or you can even have no audio. So for example, if you wanted to participate in an ASL or other sign language based uh, discussion or chat, you could. We'll click continue. And then you decide which mode you want for your microphone. So. To keep things clean, in other words, without a bunch of background chatter on your chat, you can use the push to talk feature. That means that you'll only be heard on the chat if you're pushing that button. The other option is to use open microphone, and that would allow you to have a chat as if you were face to face with everything you say and every noise you make being broadcast to the group. So this is kind of up to you and your group members. I'll click finish when I'm done with my settings and then you'll see me appear here on the screen. If there were more than one of me, this one's kind of a lonely chat, uh, then multiple boxes would appear as other students came online. Notice I have a mute button here at the top and I also have a couple of other great tools in here. One of them is a whiteboard that we can use to kind of draw out ideas and things like that. Another is to go full screen if I so choose. And then a final one that your teacher may occasionally make use of is this snapshot feature. So what that does is it takes a picture of everyone that's there at the time. There we go. It gives you a URL for that picture and then you can upload that. Uh, for example, if your instructor wants to know who participated in your chat, you could upload that. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And you'll notice that that becomes a part of the chat stream as well. All right, that's how you participate in the whole class chat. I'm going to go ahead and leave this area now and go back to the course home. The other option is to participate in a chat just for a group that you're a member of. So to access the groups, we go down to people and then over to view student groups. Your teacher may have established groups for you or you can do so yourself. I'm going to go into this existing group here 
and then you'll notice that I've got a chat that's just for this group. So from this point on, it's exactly the same. We've got the text chat, we can start broadcasting, it's all the same. So I just wanted to show you those two options for using chat in Canvas.